Hey y'all, my name's Jake, and you're watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. Come on. Bobtailing right now. I'm just gonna go pick up my trailer again. I left it at our yard. I was able to run home really quick for the night. I got home at about 1:30 in the morning this morning, I guess. And I was able to. Uh, we woke up a little late morning, and I was able to spend uh, the morning and early afternoon at home. So that was nice because I think I might be gone for about two weeks now. So it was nice to be able to swing by home and. Uh, see Brit hang out there for a bit now uh, as soon as I get my trailer hooked up we're off to high-level Alberta which is way up in northern Alberta way up there there's actually uh, a Mennonite community nearby there very much like Steinbach so we'll see what happens Ooh, I got a pretty good sleep at least I'm yawning now but it's just because I'm really not looking forward to uh, <laughs> spending the rest of the day and night driving for some reason. I love driving, don't get me wrong, but going home for just a night and a couple of hours isn't enough. It's not enough. I like to be home for at least a few days, but the bank account disagrees with me. Well, there's my oddly shaped load. Let's hook up and go. Slide on underneath, roll up the landing gear. What are you dinging about over there? Hush. Here we go, here we go. It's a nice, super light low too. There it is, there it is. Pull forward, do a little tuck, just stop dinging. I'm not sure if I like this new e-log system. I mean, it works better than my old one. It doesn't have as many glitches. Oh, Iker. She makes all kinds of weird noises, talks to me. If I forget to turn the volume down at night, middle of the night, she'll just start talking about some random junk that's... I don't need... It wakes me up in the middle of the night if I forget to turn the volume off. And usually, you know, I'd leave the volume off all the time, but sometimes I leave it on because it gives me a ding when there's a scale coming, just so that, you know, I... I don't drive past the scale, it's never happened to me before, but I don't really want it to ever happen. But you get it, right? And if I forget to turn the volume down, middle of the night, she's like, you have this and this much hours available to drive. It's 3 a.m., shut up. Wakes me up. She likes to talk a lot. You know, she's probably friends with Mandy. I don't really know what her name is yet. I, I thought I came up with a name with her once. One of you actually gave it to me. I forget what it was. I haven't named her yet, I don't know. I want to give her a name that suits her. Just punching in my pre-trip here. I've done my pre-trip, I've got to let them know. Did my pre-trip, if you're wondering, here it is, here's the record. You tell me I'm lying, I'll show you this. I'll tell you you're lying. See, this is what she does. Middle of the night, if I forget to turn the volume down, suddenly, randomly, for no reason. You have 12 hours and 35 minutes of remaining drive time. Imagine like waking up by that. By the first the first time I didn't know what was going on. Britt was with me the first time actually. I didn't know who was talking. And then uh, <laughs> I just went back to sleep. And the next time it happened to me when I was by myself and I jump up in bed and go, who's talking to me? Who's in my truck? <sighs> see if I can do it again. See, you're sleeping. You have 12 hours and 35 minutes of remaining drive time. Wouldn't that freak you out if you woke up at three in the morning with that? <laughs> now I have 12 hours and 35 minutes of drive time because I drove 25 minutes after midnight yesterday, I guess. And in Canada, you can drive 13 hours in a 24 hour period from midnight to midnight in your home terminal time. I'm in central time. So I drove 25 minutes over past midnight yesterday. I got here at 12.25 a.m. 
which means that that takes it out of my 13 hours of my whole day. So now I'm starting later in the day, right? Because I went home, slept, enjoyed some time at home, came back home. It's still the same day, technically. That 25 minutes comes out of this now. Now that's why it says I only have 12 hours and 35 minutes available to drive until midnight. And then I'll get those 25 minutes back if I drive past midnight. But then it takes off from the next day. Get it? Diesel. There's cows. There's cows right beside us. Cows. Cows, man. You see them? You see them? I know. I know. Oh, what do you do? Okay. 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 You want to see the cows? Look, there's the cows. There's the cows. See? <laughs> well, we just fueled up here. I know, right? I didn't fuel in the U.S. yesterday. That's how badly I wanted to get home. I didn't even want to stop for 10 minutes to get fuel. It was worth it to those 10 minutes. Believe me, they were worth it. So I fueled up here. A little more expensive. That's okay. Whatever. Like I said, worth it. So now we're all ready to go. I've got a new addiction, I should uh, confess to you guys. Uh, slush puppies. Not 7-Eleven Slurpees. I'm talking slush puppies. Like slush. So good. Satisfies my sugar craving and it cools me down on a hot summer day. So I got a coffee, a slush puppy, some water, a cookie. And now I'm ready to go. Josh has his cookie, he's ready to go. We gotta drive into the night yet. We have 2,114 kilometers to go before 2 p.m. Mountain Time Monday. And it is now quarter to five, no, quarter to 6 p.m. Central Time, which would be quarter to five Mountain Time on Saturday. So we'll be driving into the night tonight, at least probably till around midnight. And then uh, we've already got our reloads for the whole week set up. Have I told you yet? I forget if I told you. I forgot if I told you yesterday or not. I'll tell you again. Uh, we're delivering this load to high level Alberta Monday afternoon. And then we go down. Go down about six hours further south to White Court, Alberta. And we got a load of lumber there that's going to Madison, Wisconsin. And then I thought from there I was going down to St. Joseph, Missouri to pick up something. But it turns out no, it's not St. Joseph, it's uh, Evansville, Wisconsin. So it's only a half hour away from where we drop the lumber. Drop off the lumber in Madison, we go down to Evansville, Wisconsin, pick up a load of steel, and that load's bringing us back to Manitoba, to a town called Rosser. I gotta deliver that, I believe, on uh, July 23rd. Tuesday. Which is perfect, because then I go home that night, on the 23rd, and the 24th, well, the 25th is Britt's birthday. It's her 30th birthday, so it's gonna be a big one. Got some plans I'm really excited about. And uh, I'll be home for that, so it works out perfect. And I'm getting in as much freight as possible before then. Got to be careful going through Headingley here, west of Winnipeg. Speed limit's 70 kilometers an hour, but uh, you're going to want to do about 170. So keep that in mind. The RCMP watch this road pretty closely here. They would prefer it if you would stay at 70 or under. See a lot of them pulling over people down this stretch here. Good lightning. I love driving through thunderstorms. I don't know how much the camera's gonna pick up of this, but it's not doing it justice. This is awesome. It keeps getting better too. So we're uh, still in Trans Canada 1 here. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. We're coming up to uh, Regina soon in about less than an hour. A little less than an hour. I'm going to try to get to Davidson, Saskatchewan tonight at least. It's uh, 10 o'clock here. We're already in mountain time. Saskatchewan follows mountain time. Uh, during this time of the year. They don't actually have daylight savings time here, so half the year they're with Manitoba, half the year they're with Alberta. So right now they're in mountain time with Alberta. Uh, in fall time, they'll fall back to Manitoba to keep warm with us through the winter. 
and uh, come back to Central Time. This is my first real big thunderstorm. Oh, that's awesome. I really hope that this turns out on the video. If you're just staring at a black screen right now, I apologize. You're just gonna have to believe me, this is a pretty sweet storm. I like it because it's not too windy, so I can just sort of enjoy it. I don't have to worry about keeping the truck on the road. It's beautiful. Nature, you know? It's amazing. Maybe you'll be able to see it better from the head cam. <laughs> it's pretty crazy out there. Wow. You can't hear it though, there's no thunder. That's disappointing because the thunder's the best part. Right? Oh, that's a big one. Come on, show me the thunder. Hashtag disappointed. The light show is fun, yeah, but the thunder is what really, really gets the blood pumping, you know? Well, we made it here to Regina. Here's that famous refinery. That was a pretty wild storm we went through there for a little bit. There's some pretty bad hail. I still have to pull over and check to see if there was any damage done to the truck, but whoo! The only thing is, the traffic, the traffic stopped. Like a semi-truck, professional driver, semi-truck stopped dead in the middle of his lane. Didn't even get on the paved shoulder. No, stopped dead in the middle of the lane and just parked there because he was scared of the rain. Scared of a little walk. Like, I honked when I went past him. You're going to kill somebody. Someone's going to nail you, man. At least get on the shoulder but get off the road man I don't get that why would you stop in the middle of the lane I don't care how hard it's raining get on the shoulder it wasn't that bad I could still see what the lane was. I kept going it wasn't that bad man another cereal box driver's license right there you know what I mean that was dangerous I, that upset me quite a bit that upset me because that's going to get somebody killed scared please remove yourself from the highway so that other people don't hit you and kill you or kill them or or, or if you kill them Look, I, I don't really have to say this to you people right this is this is common sense to you the viewers here obviously you've watched enough of my videos listened to enough of my rants you guys know better than that maybe by the off chance that guy is for some reason watching my video because he was a truck driver I expect better a lot better from you Wow Tell you what. Good morning. Got my coffee. My name's Nelson from South Louisiana, and you're watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching.